fifth grade, lesson 38. And what this one is about is fractions and mixed numbers on a number line. So I want you to draw a number line with me, okay? And we're going to go, let's go from 0 to 4. So just draw a line on your paper like this. And we're going to go from 0 to 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to make this a tad bit longer. There we go. Okay, these kind of represent an inch, even though these are bigger than an inch on my board. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, all right, now. If I told you to tell me how much that arrow or this dot is worth, okay, here's another one, here's another one, and here's another one, okay, mm -hmm. just look at mine, you don't have to draw on yours, okay, if I were to ask you what does this dot represent? How much? Okay. Well, you can't know because we know that it's more than zero and it's less than one. Right? And it's not, it's not really a half because half is right here. So how do I know what that is? Okay. And how I know what that is is by how many ticks or how many unit marks there are. Okay. So now I'm going to draw unit marks inside of this. Okay, so in between 0 and 1, I'm going to draw three tick marks. See that? We'll draw three more on this one. Okay. Okay. Is I'm going to make these uh, the, the numbers, the large tip marks. I just want you to see for just a minute. Zero, one, two, three, and four. See those? Now, in between zero and one, how many jumps or units do I have? Do you want to help me count? One, two, three. Three, four. I have four jumps or four units. Okay? So, let's check from one to two how many units do I have. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, guess what? In this scale, this line graph that I've got up here, how many units are in between each number? Four. Four. Okay? And that's important for you to know. So now, because I know that there are four units or four jumps, I can easily answer my problems. Now watch what I do. Okay? So, this is one jump out of two, three, four. So guess what that dot, I'm going to label it A, guess what that A dot represents? One third. Because it's one this dot is one dot out of two, three, four. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, now pay attention. Let's do B together, okay? B is going to be a mixed number. Do you remember what a mixed number is? No. Okay, a mixed number is a fraction and a whole number. Okay, so um, watch what I do. Is... If I was measuring, let's say I wanted to know how, well, how long it was from zero to this dot, do I know that it is at least one inch? Yes. But it's a little bit more than one inch, but it's not yet two, right? Mm -hmm. So it's one and something. So that something is going to be our fraction. Okay? So we know that it's at least one inch, right? Let's figure out how much more. Okay? So now... How many jumps? One out of two, two three, three, four. Oh, I wrote, I'm sorry, I wrote three. <laughs> Did you notice that? No. Okay, over here it was supposed to be one jump out of two, three, four. 
So one out of four. I'm sorry. I wrote that wrong. I wanted to know what I was thinking. Okay, so let's go back to B. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's go back to B. So we, we know that it's at least one something. One and one out of two, three, four. See what I'm saying? So B is one and one fourth. Mm -hmm. It's considered a mixed number. It's a whole number and a fraction. Why wasn't this one a mixed number? Because it's behind one? Because it's high one. Zero doesn't really count, okay? It's not a whole number. I mean, it is a whole number, but you never use the zero and one fourth. Yeah. You just say it's one fourth. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's do C together. What is C going to be? Um, two and three fourths. Yes, very good. It's at least two, but it hasn't reached three yet. So good job on the whole number part. And so now we go one, two, three out of four. Three out of four. Excellent job. All right, help me do D. D. Mm hmm. Three and one fourth. Three and one fourth. So we know it's at least three inches long, but it's still a little bit more. And so it's one and one, two, three, four more. So one fourth. Very good. Excellent job on that, Eli. Okay. Now, this time, I want you to see what I do. Okay. I'm going to kind of maybe be able to do this. We'll see. Probably should have just raised it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Same numbers. Zero, one, two, three, and four. Okay? But this time, instead of having three or four units, we're going to do a little bit less. So watch what happens. Okay, the very first thing whenever you look at a graph or a number line is you determine how many units there are. So let's determine that, okay? You ready? Between zero and one, how many jumps or units are there? One, three. two, three. All right, from one to two, how many are there? One, one two, three. three. Okay, I always check twice just to make sure I'm reading it right. Okay, mm -hmm. so how many units is this one? Three. Three units, okay? And that's important for you to establish Straight up, just first thing you do, boom, I'm going to pick how many units there are. Now, I'm going to label them A, B, C, okay? How much is A worth? Um, Two-thirds. Very good. What he did is he went one, two out of three. So A is two-thirds. All right, what is B? B is two and one third. Very good. Two, we know it's at least two inches long, but it's a little bit more. It hadn't reached three, so it's two and something. So two and one out of two out of three. One out of three. Very good. And C. Three and two full. Three and two thirds. Very good. Okay, because we're doing three units, three will always be on the bottom. Good job. And so he did three. He knows it's at least three inches, but it's a little bit more than three. So it's three and something. And it's one, two out of three. Very good. Okay. Now, one last thing I want to teach you. Okay. And this time I want you to draw two lines on your paper. Two of them exactly the same length if you can, the best you can. Okay, do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I want you to label it a zero and a one. A zero and a one. Best you can, getting it exactly the same. All right, on this one up here, I want you to put two ticks the best you can in there. The bottom one, I want you to put three ticks the best you can evenly. 
Okay. Okay. So this one should have two ticks in between zero and one, and the bottom one should have three ticks in between zero and one, right? Yes. Okay. All right. You ready? So how many units does this one have? One, two, three units. Three units. How many does this one have? Four units. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we have three units at the top, three jumps, and three jumps at the bottom, or four jumps at the bottom. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a dot on this right here and a dot on this right here. Okay. So stay with me. How much is this one worth? Um... Uh, two-thirds. Very good. This one is worth two-thirds. Very good. What is this one worth? Three-fourths. Very good. One, two, three out of four. Okay. And so if I were to ask you, Eli, to compare two-thirds and three-fourths, which one is longer? Three-fourths. Very good. Okay. And the way you would know that is by drawing exactly the same lines for zero and one, and then making this one have three jumps and this one have four jumps, and then compare it. See how that works? Mm -hmm. There's actually a cheat that you can do. Do you want me to teach it to you? Yes. Ready for this? Ready? Uh huh. What is four times two? Um, eight. I'm gonna put an eight up here and circle it. What is three times three? Nine. I'm gonna put it up here and circle it. Which one's bigger? Nine. Ba bam! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Uh huh. You can do that every time, and it works. Okay. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah. Little trick. All right. That's lesson thirty-eight.